Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here with all the scarves that I have arm knitted and I've had a little bit of help with this. I've, um, at this point, I've arm knitted an afghan and then I've arm knitted all of these scarves in various yarns. So by doing this many projects, um, I've learned a lot of tips that will help you to be a better arm knitter. And um, some of the tips include how to use multiple strands like I did here. This is using everything from like zero weight to um, City Life um, ladder yarn and then a worsted weight yarn mixed together. And then um, there's tips in how to um, measure your yarn, how to mix and match colors and dye lots in your gauge and um, using uh, the beginning and the end of a ball to create two strands or create like even four strands out of one skein of yarn. Um, adding yarn, what to do if you need to take it off your arm, it, what if you wanted to bind off on an opposite arm, I'd show you how to do that. So um, I, I am madly in love with arm knitting <laughs> and I used to knit when I was very young and I was pretty good at it actually. I don't know, I don't really know, I wouldn't even know how to do what I used to do when I was young. But anyway, I um, just love this. I, I just think it's a lot of fun. And I've been teaching my friends also. And I love teaching people because I can slow the whole process down and see where they struggle. And then I can create um, good tips for you. And that's what I want to share in this video series. So this is um, Lion Brand Homespun. This is Starbella. This is Starbella Flash. This is Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Yarn. Um, this is a mix of Premier Yarn, City Life, um, uh, Eversoft, and Enchant Yarn. This is actually a 12 foot scarf that I made using three, I think it was three strands of Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky in chocolate. But all of these are in, an, in separate videos and this is just to introduce all of the tips that I have for you. And then this afghan was done in uh, Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky also. So anyway, let's get started on your tips and make sure that you watch all of them. There's probably going to be about 20 in the, at least 20 tips in the series. And I want to thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, just write them below and the links to all the videos and everything will be listed below. Thank you. Okay, when I was making this afghan, I um, actually videotaped the whole thing and we have that available on YouTube. Uh, one of the tips that I uh, thought of as I was doing it was to prepare all your yarn ahead of time. Don't have it like coming out of skeins and you know being uh, struggling with it. Oh, I got to add the new skeins on. Get it all ready ahead of time. So you could even, let, let's say, I did this with four strands, but I would, when I do it again, it's going to be with six or 12 um, strands because I want this to be thicker. And I'll do another video with a, 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 an afghan that is, is thicker. So anyway, um, before I started with this, I wished I would have had all my yarn uh, lined up. And then I thought about this amazing idea, and that is, when you're arm knitting and you get down to the end of your yarn, you have to make sure that you have the same amount of yards left on your balls of yarn that you started with for your long tail cast on. So I thought, well, why not go ahead and measure that same yardage on the back end of your yarn before you roll it up in a ball that is going to be your working yarn. So basically, you would measure off, let's say, nine yards, and then you would put maybe two slip knots right there at the nine yard mark like this. Okay? So you've got these two slip knots. So then you wind your yarn all up, and you're going to be using it from this end, and then you're going to, when you start your project, you're going to measure off your long tail, and as you're working down, when you get to those, you know that it's time to stop. So I thought that was a great tip. And um, so 
All the other tips are on our uh, video channel, which is Maggie Weldon. And I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions or anything, just write them um, below. And thanks for watching. Definitely done with the long tail right now. Because there's only groups of four on my arm right now. Doesn't that look beautiful, those shades of blue? Down or um, something happens where you drop it, you don't want all your stitches to unravel. So for the next group, you skip that one.